Hey, what's going on people? Bearfox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your internet connection, reduce your ping, packet loss and fix all of your network problems in Warzone 2.0. A lot of you guys have been asking me to make a video on it. So here I am back again. I hope this video helps you out. So make sure to watch it till the end. And also don't forget to leave your specs in the comments below so I can reply to each one of you individually. And with all this said, let's get started. Alright, first things first, I want you guys to use Ethernet cable because Ethernet cables are really, really efficient. They are directly linked from your router to your PC. That means there is absolutely no break of flow. Whereas in wireless internet connection, you have a lot of interruptions and that's why you get a lot of packet loss and ping issues. But I promise if you guys use an Ethernet or cable connection, you guys will improve your performance drastically. All right, let's move on with the step number one that is Windows Update. And for that, you have to search for Windows Updates and go into check for updates on your windows over here you have to make sure that your system is always up to date if there are any pending updates possible you can download it and install straight away keeping your windows updated is the first step to reduce your network issues step number two is right over here under the advanced options you have to go into delivery optimization and make sure that allow downloads from other pc is turned off doing this simple step itself will save you a lot of bandwidth now step number three is the resource monitor and for that you have to simply search for resource monitor and once you are over here you have to go to the last tab that is the network tab and over here give your pc a while so it analyzes all of the processes ongoing on your computer all right so right over here you guys can see these three applications are consuming a lot of my internet that is chrome discord and skype all three of them are using a lot of internet over here so what you can simply do is end all of these process or suspend them until you are playing your games this will allow those applications to be closed or hibernated and that's how you can utilize your network resources for your games step number four is exit lag once again guys if you want to save yourself a lot of time from this video and you want to fix all of your problems within a confined time and you want your game to be ready to up and play i highly recommend you guys to download exit lag from the link in the description below you can get a free three days trial and the application will look like this all you have to do is enable exit lag over here and over here you have to search for call of duty modern warfare 2.0 that is warzone 2.0 2.0 as well select your game region from this list for me it is singapore 01 and then you can see the estimated ping that you're going to get simply click on apply routes and now you will be able to get rid of your network issues as well as reduce your ping and get much better performance in regards to your internet the best part is that go into the tools section, go into FPS boost section and enable the first, third, fourth and second last option that will give you the best performance in game possible. So this application is a one stop shop for you guys. If you want to fix your network issues and FPS, this is a go for you guys. Once again, exit lag is not free to use. You have to get a subscription for this application. But if you are purchasing it on the Black Friday, you can get 50% off on any of these subscriptions. As well as if you use code bearfox10 off from the link in the description below, you guys can save up to 10% off on any of these subscriptions. So make sure to choose wisely. Step number five is doing a ping test. And for that, you have to simply search for CMD and open this thing up. Right over here, you have to simply search for ping 8.8.8.8 and this is going to ping your pc from the google servers as you guys can see i am having an average 8 milliseconds ping over here you can try it with pinging 1.1.1.1 and these are basically the cloudflare servers as you guys can see i'm getting almost a similar ping but google ping is better for me because maximum is 9 minimum is 6 and average is 8 whereas in cloudflare there are 6 in minimum 10 in maximum and 8 in average so i'm going to go with the google servers now here is step number six that you have to follow open up your control panel and over here go to network and internet settings network and sharing center click on your ethernet 
then go to properties and then go into internet protocol version 4 double click on that and then in the second option use the following dns servers over here simply press in 8.8.8.8 .8 and for the alternate dns server you have to go with 8.8.4.4 similarly if you are going with cloudflare servers go with 1.1.1.1 and alternate dns server should be 1.0.0.1 once you're done with that simply click on ok ok and then close this setting now here comes one more important step that is step number seven you have to open your ethernet properties go into properties and then click on configure go to power management and make sure all three of these options are unchecked this will allow your computer to save your ethernet to go down to power saving if it is consuming a lot of energy so this will eventually reduce all of your packet loss as well as disconnection issues in your game step number eight is allowing an app through firewall you have to search for allow an app through firewall on your windows and then this thing will open right in front of you simply click on change settings and then click on allow another app and now you have to go into path click on browse and then go to the install location of warzone 2.0 in your install directory you have to find cod.exe and then click on ok and then click on add now it should be already added in this list but if not you can add it over here you have to search for your call of duty core over here it should look like this make sure that it has tick to both of these private and public sector go to details and over here go to network types and make sure that all of these are enabled click on ok and you're good to go lastly i highly suggest you guys to change your power plan if you have not already simply go into control panel and then go and search for power options over here and in here make sure to use high performance or ultimate performance if you have but if you are on laptop keep using balance to sustain the battery life of your laptop but if you switch it to high performance or ultimate performance your pc will automatically turn off the usage of power management or power saving functions and that will allow all of your components to perform on its maximum potential just by doing this step you can see a drastic reduce in your latency in game and also fix all of your network issues if you are still facing any issues make sure to leave them in the comments below i'll see you guys in the next video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out